How cute is she? It's got angles. It said. What's up, YouTube land? I am here with an exciting video. It's exciting for me. I don't know if it's exciting for you guys, but these videos were exciting for me before I got this item. So I know it's probably going to be at least inf informational, informative to you guys if you guys are looking to get this camera. You obviously know what I'm talking about because you clicked on this video. The title says it all. I went ahead and I made a cute little purchase and I got the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark Poo. She's a bad bitch. <laughs> all right, so the reason I got this camera and I'm a little sad because it's a bittersweet moment. I was not on the market for a new camera whatsoever, but my old camera, old trusty faithful, she has given up on me. Let me tell you what I even had so you kind of know what I'm talking about. I'm filming on my iPhone for this video because this camera, like I said, it's unfaithful as hell. So I had these, I have these Sony Alpha 5100 and that's what I have been filming on for the last couple years on my channel ever since my unboxing of this camera everything then on has most likely been on this camera if not on my iphone which is a great alternative for a camera however i need a separate camera that is not my phone so i have these this very adorable sony a5100 and i act i still love it like i literally love this camera it gave me such amazing video quality i love the sound quality but it had two main cons with it and even going into getting this camera I knew about these cons however what I've been dealing with has not been brought up and so ain't nobody told me I was gonna be dealing with all these glitches in this camera it has a tendency to overheat and the image stabilization in it isn't the best to me those were easy fixes like they weren't major issues however now what this camera likes to do is not work so i'm going to turn it on it turned on 20 minutes later and then it'll open up and then i'll probably close again every time i like try to record something it literally just like doesn't want to or if i open like a menu or something it'll usually like close out of it without like any warning or if i press record it'll start recording for like two seconds and then shut off. And so every time I had to record a video, I had to press record a lot of times and like let it run before I got like one good like recording session. I'll try it again, same thing, shut off. Like it's just a whole lot of stuff, which was fine for a while because I'm in quarantine. Like I'm sitting at home. I don't really have, like where am I going? I have nothing but time. However, I was trying to record a, a dance video the other day and this was for like an actual job and I spent more time playing with this and then it was also just really annoying because I was dancing, full out dancing, tiring dancing in the sun and I would get like halfway through the choreography and this would shut off on me. Like I literally, it, like I wanted to cry, like I actually wanted to cry. So I think I'm about to lay her to rest and call it a day. If anybody is interested in, in wanting this camera though, like if you want this camera, let me know. Like I will sell it to you at like a very cheap price because the lens is detachable. The lens is, it's still got a working lens or if you want it for parts, let me know. I even took it into Best Buy to have them fix it. However, when I got it back from Geek Squad, it seemed to work fine for like a couple uses and then it just literally just went downhill from there. So like I'm literally just, I'm over it. And like even the case on it is so cute. Like <laughs> I love you, but I hate you. I'm done talking about that. I'm going to go on to this. So Canon came out with the G7X Mark III and I was also looking into that camera and I noticed that that one had a lot of cons. Like a lot of people did not like it. A lot of people very much preferred the Mark II. So that's why I went ahead and got the Mark II. I'm gonna finally go ahead and unbox the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II. So this is the box that it came in. I got it from Best Buy. 
So other thing, I got it from Best Buy. However, I would suggest getting it on Amazon if you are new to like having cameras and a setup and all of that. The only reason why I got it on Best Buy is that it was the camera itself was a hundred dollars cheaper than what Best Buy was usually selling it for and it was about fifty dollars cheaper than the Amazon price however I would definitely say get the Amazon bundle if you need extra items I'm gonna link the Amazon bundle down below but the Amazon bundle for 50 bucks more you get like a tripod you get um like an SD card, you get like a lot of stuff. So it's well, well worth the money. However, for me, I have all of the things that the bundle had and I'm really trying not to, I'm very big on not buying things that I don't need. So it was a lot of stuff that I didn't need and the SD card would, would have been the only thing I was interested in. However, the SD card in the bundle is a 32 gigabyte. And for me personally, 64 gigabytes is what I've been working with and that's not enough. So I actually went ahead and I got 128 gigabyte uh, memory card, constantly deleting stuff and making room on my 64 gigabyte. I don't need more of the same thing, but if you are new to filming and you don't have like a cleansing cloth or a tripod or any of those things, definitely go with the bundle. So I spent about the same amount of money had I gotten the bundle and I got less stuff, but I got what I actually needed, if that makes sense. I feel like I've just been prolonging opening this. So here's a little flappy do. And then you just go ahead and bat out. On the very top, we have paperwork, which is like not fun. I just say, rec I just recommend registering any like electronics that you get that costs a lot of money, just in case if something does happen to it you know like you don't know what the future holds if something does happen to it and the warranty covers it you just saved yourself a bunch of money just freaking do it because unless you have seven hundred dollars just lying around all the time then just like hit me up because i need some and then we have this big ass book like this is a novel so then underneath this little cardboard situation we have the camera and it's wrapped like so so excited it has a really nice weight to it i definitely say it's definitely lighter than my sony oh it's so pretty how cute is she here's the screen i already put fingerprints all over it but again it's a great vlogging camera because a you need to be able to see yourself it's got angles it's a and one and two and three and four but here she is. This is what this part looks like in comparison to my Sony Alpha. Slimmer for sure. Like these are definitely bulkier because of the lens. So underneath that we have the battery. So here is the battery, cute little Canon battery. And then below that we have the strap for, ooh, I caught, I caught that. We have the strap for the camera. And then we have, Z charger. So this one you d plug directly into the wall, which is nice. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and charge it. Ugh, I'm such a vlogger. A vlogger that can't go anywhere because she's quarantined. My battery has been charging for like 2.5 minutes. I'm too impatient to be waiting all day. So I'm gonna pop the SD card in there and pop the battery in there. It, it has a little diagram in there. You're not gonna be able to see it. it. Has a little diagram in there that tells you which way to put the SD card. So you don't fuck it up. The battery is definitely not charged all the way. On the bottom of the battery, there are these four golden stripe things. And then if you look inside of here, you can kind of see the corresponding gold pieces. So that's how you know which way to put it in. Also, there's a little, this little, tan orange-ish looking thing it's a spring so you see how that moves like this you use the battery to kind of push this out of the way a little bit so the battery slides in so that when the battery clicks back in here it um covers it so the battery won't fall out if you want to take out the battery you're gonna need to slide that little thing out and the battery will pop out 
So when you close this back, you wanna slide this button so you can lock it. The first thing you're gonna see is to set your date and time. Ooh, oh, I, was, I was looking for my phone. I'm filming on my phone. Wow. Whoa, oh, the quality is so nice. It's nice and bright. Oh, I'm so much brighter on here than on here. Ah. So I'm obviously gonna have to play around with the settings to see um, what I can do and whatnot. And I know there's a setting in here that I'm gonna have to do to have it get used to my face specifically. So that way it always autofocuses on my face. But so far I like it, the autofocus is like, it's pretty fast. Yeah, it's like great timing. My nails look popping. <laughs> I'm super excited to hear the audio on this too. Like the audio is, it's a big deal because I don't have an external mic or anything. I just try to project as best as I can. This is just, this is just a lot of, a lot of footage on me. So, okay, this is gonna be the test of video and sound quality. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is now going to be the audio from the PowerShot G7X Mark II. So this is what I sound like on my new camera, on the Canon. Hey guys, how's it going? And now this is how I sound on the iPhone. What do I have? On the iPhone 11 Pro with, I'm using the front facing camera. So this is the quality of the video on the front facing camera. And this is what the audio sounds like. And now over here, I am using my Sony Alpha 5100. This is what the sound quality is like on this camera. Uh, yes, I like the coloring on this Canon a lot better. I look brighter, I look a little healthier. My Sony just stopped recording, so super excited. Ooh. I honestly have like half battery, which isn't bad. I was just, I charged it for maybe te uh, 15 or 20 minutes. I am more excited than ever to go out and start vlogging again. Hopefully this video wasn't completely all over the place. I tried to keep it as singular as possible or just like, I try, I tried to, I tried my best. So hopefully it wasn't too confusing. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will be posting a lot more videos from now on. Uh, my goal is every Sunday and every Wednesday, I will be posting a new video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I will put the link down below. I'll also put it right here so you know what my username is. Be on the lookout for more content. I'm super excited. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.